Hey Loyola, welcome to Loyola Today, a student production that highlights what's happening on campus and around Baltimore. I'm Andrew Wolfington. And I'm Chet Malott. This week we are focusing on Loyola sports. We start off catching up with our women's soccer team, now 5-3-1 and one in their conference. The girls faced off against MAC rivals St. Peter's this past Sunday. Reporter Kevin Chadwick has more. The women's soccer team took on St. Peter's this Sunday at the Loyola Ridley Athletic Complex for their last home game of the season. The Hounds started the game with a record of 7-11-1 as they faced their opponent, St. Peter's, with their record of 3-15-1. 140 fans came to cheer on the Hounds. Senior Tom Quinn explained why he continues to show his support for the women's soccer team. I like coming to women's soccer games because the team's pretty athletic. Ridley's a really nice stadium. The girls are doing pretty well this year, so all in all, the general atmosphere is fun to play for. Tensions were visibly high as the game became increasingly more physical. It came to a tipping point where St. Peter's defender Maria Tomasini received a red card and was ejected from the game due to overly aggressive actions. At the end of the second half, Loyola was clearly dominating the field yet had no goals to show for it. The game went into sudden death overtime which would give a win to the next team that scored. Six and a half minutes into that overtime period, forward Nicole Shiro brought the crowd to their feet as she scored the final goal winning the game for Loyola. The Hounds had 39 attempted shots, but only 8 were on target. The women move into the MAC Championships on November 4th at 7 o'clock p.m., which will be hosted at Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. Come out and show your support for the team. Kevin Chadwick reporting. Another milestone for the women, junior Nicole Shiro set the record for most goals in Loyola history this past weekend, taking her career total to 34. Congratulations to Nicole and good luck to the team. Remember, you can show your support this Friday at 7 p.m. as they take on Niagara. On the other side of campus, the Greyhounds were busy making a splash this Saturday as Loyola's swimming and diving team hosted Lafayette and Seton Hall. Fans turned out to boost the team's energy level. Reporter Ashley Brunner has the story. We're here today on Hound Turf as the Loyola swimming and diving team hosts the Lafayette Leopards and the Seton Hall Pirates at the Mangione Aquatic Center. It looks like a great turnout as tons of fans have come to watch and support the team. I do feel very confident coming into today's meet. I swam the 100 backstroke. First, I guess rider just because I have friends on that team, but I think all the meets will be good. Earlier this month, Loyola opened the long-anticipated fall season to a meet against George Mason and Navy, where the Greyhound men unfortunately fell in a close loss to the Patriots and Midshipmen, while the women's team fell to Navy at their home dual meet. We talked to junior John Kenyon after his swimming event today. Yeah, we just got a few new recruits. Um, they're freshmen now and they're pretty fast, so our team's uh, stacked. Yeah, our greatest competition is probably uh, this meet with Seton Hall and Lafayette and then maybe Marist, which we're swimming uh, next weekend. I think Loyola and Seton Hall are good competitors because they're fast teams and fun to race against. Okay. I like being on the swim team because Lafayette swim team rocks. I, I expect this season to be really good. I think we have a pretty strong team and I think we have a good chance of doing really well this year. Following this weekend, Loyola will host John Hopkins and St. Francis in a try meet on Friday, November 4th and Saturday, November 5th. Be sure to come out and support the Hounds. Thanks, Ashley, for that story. Whoever said Greyhounds can't swim obviously didn't see seven of our very own Greyhounds paddle their way to victory in each of their own individual events this past week. Let's make sure we continue the strong support by coming out for next weekend's meet against local rival Johns Hopkins. Volleyball is not the most predominant sport on campus, but the team holds its own each game in Reitz Arena. These girls put forward a hard effort against conference rivals Iona this past Sunday. Reporter Amy Sosha has more. On Sunday, the Loyola Greyhounds volleyball team faced off against Iona College in Reitz Arena. The Greyhounds came into the game with a 6-20 record, while Iona, also in the MAC conference, posted an 11-11 record. Loyola freshman outside hitter Lauren Arnold had a season high with 7 kills on 10 swings without an error. Jack Bullock, a sophomore middle blocker, added 8 kills, 2 blocks, and 2 service aces. Supporting the Hounds with 11 digs was junior setter Janet Pressler. Despite personal achievements, Loyola was unable to defend the kill shots of the Iona Gales, losing in just three sets, 25-18, 25-18, and 26-24. We spoke to sophomore outside hitter Faye Lucas after the game about their performance. It sucks to say this, but they outworked us yesterday. Like They played harder defense than us, and so they were able to set their hitters more than we were able to. And so... 
that's probably why they won in three. We had some good moments and some bad moments, I think. Um, I think we are, our block was okay, but we need to play better defense. Okay. Well, the first time we played Iona, we lost like pretty badly, and so I think there was a little bit of like drive to do better this time, but um, for some reason we just like can't pull it together as a team, and we haven't been able to for a while. We have like five consecutive losses. But I don't know. We have a lot of young players on the court, and I think that with time and experience, we'll be a better team. So hopefully for next year and the years to come. After losing the first two sets, Loyola rallied in the third, tying 17-17 and again at 22-22, but later could not hang on. Come cheer on the Hounds this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. in Reeds Arena as they face off against another MAC team, St. Peter's College. The women's volleyball team is asking for fans to come support them. So make sure you get to Reeds Arena Wednesday night at 7 p.m. and cheer on our fellow hounds. They take on St. Peter's. Next, we'll take a look at Loyola's Intramural Men's Basketball League, arguably Loyola's most popular basketball program among students. Upper and lower classmen alike lay it all on the line every week, battling for the ultimate prize, bragging rights. This past week, two teams faced off in a senior showdown at the FAC. As you can see here, the team in black uh, from the Mansion House ran a 2-3 defensive zone, shut down Fall's ability to run the post game, forcing him to shoot threes from behind the arc. Yeah, that 2-3 zone was really effective. Uh, Falls Road only went 2 for 12 from downtown, struggled with outside shooting the whole game. Yeah, as the game went on, both teams got very aggressive. You could see both teams really wanted to win, prove who had the better house. Um, they both began to foul a lot as they became physical and talking trash, and they spent more time on the free throw line than they did on their own bench. Yeah, yeah, it really was a defensive battle. Both teams played hard, and it has to be said, both teams missed hard. Yeah. So, Andrew, I couldn't help but notice you were out there. That's your team. Come on, man. You guys got to play better. <laughs> yeah, it was my big b debut. Uh, actually, our, our team struggled offensively to get it together. Um, we struggled switching with the 2-3 zone. We tried to run with a full court press, couldn't get it together. Hopefully next week I'll be able to come out, have a little practice, and bring home the W for me and my guys. Yeah. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. When Loyola Today returns, we'll catch up with some of Loyola's fans who are taking their support to super levels. Hey Loyola, have you ever wanted to be on TV? Well, we have an opportunity for you. By joining Graycom's news team, you can have the chance for first-hand experience to report and film on-campus events and news. It's called The Echo. It's a bi-weekly, 30-minute show run by students, focusing on everything you need to know about what's going on around campus in Baltimore and all over the world. So if you're interested in joining our team, please send your information to Katie Bigley at the email address at the bottom of your screen. And students, feel free to stop by our weekly Tuesday meetings at 7.30 in the Dorothy Day Computer Lab. Just remember, there's no previous experience required. So if you can see yourself where we are right now, the Echo can make that happen for you. I'm Ryan Garvin. And I'm Caitlin Higgins. So come join us on The, the Echo. Echo. What would Loyola Sports be without our super fans? While Loyola athletes take the field, the super fans take the stands. To show their support, Amanda Hollis has a story of some of Loyola's most passionate students and fans. Loyal Superfans is part of the Student Government Association and takes on the task of building school spirit and supporting Loyal Sports. One way that the Superfans tries to build school spirit is through Green Fridays. Every Friday, Superfans take to the quad and give out prizes to students who show their pride by wearing green. We caught up with Superfans Matt and Pete on the quad to talk about this past weekend's events. Some of the games we have coming up this weekend, more specifically, we have soccer this weekend, women's soccer at Ridley, Friday at 7 p.m. against Manhattan and Sunday at 1 p.m. against St. Peter's. They're both very big games because if we win both games, we make it to the MAC tournament, which will be held actually here at home either next weekend or the weekend after, depending on when dates of availability for the other teams. We're looking to size up the dog pound. Just anybody who's interested to get involved and help us make the events better than they have been in the past. Um, if there's one thing that we're concerned about, it's just apathy in terms of attendance at, at athletic events and just in regards to school spirit in general. So we're hopefully going to get more people involved. If you are interested, um, feel free to contact Matt or I. Our, our emails are on the, the school club organization site. Um, and uh, hopefully we can work on a, on a couple of initiatives that, that will really make the campus better. You can find the super fans at most Loyola sporting events. 
Students are encouraged to join the Spirited Club in cheering on loyal sports and showing your Greyhound pride. For more information about the Superfans, you can visit their Facebook page or follow them on Twitter at Hound Superfans. This has been Amanda Hollis reporting for Loyola Today. Super fans are always great supporters of all, of all loyal athletics. It doesn't take too much to become one. All you have to do is throw on green and white and show up to a game. If you'd like more information on any of Loyola's athletics, click on the athletic link on Loyola's homepage. Well, that's going to wrap it up for Loyola today. We hope you enjoyed taking a closer look into sports on campus. Tune in next week when we take a look at the entertainment scene around Loyola. I'm Andrew Wolfington. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm Chet Malott. Have a great week, Loyola. Join us next week.